Hey, it's Joe Glass and I'm really excited to share this script with you today. If you ever want to control your PC using your voice, I've got some really cool updates for you. Now, this was mentioned to me by a hero member, Scott. He uh, he just happened, we were on a consultation call helping him with stuff. And he's like, hey, let me show you something real quick. And he mentioned, you know, Microsoft bought Nuance, which owns Dragon, naturally speaking. And they've incorporated it in the Windows 11. And you also have to get like this special update. The first Windows 11, the new update, has this functionality, but there's some extra, you got to make sure you get the update, which we'll mention uh, in the documentation here, in the, if you look in the video, make sure you have it, to have these voice shortcuts, because that's the real key. Um, it's not perfect, but I think there's a lot of potential here, so let's go jump into this. Um, you do have to launch it, um, and here you can go, it's a weird scenario, so here you can go in and look at, you can turn it off here, select your microphone, other options. This is just the voice access stuff. I really, really don't care for their interface. We're not gonna even show you their interface. Although, um, if you do want to look at this, so go to view all commands and go to this voice shortcuts. Now, when I first installed the update, I didn't have this. I had to do an additional update to get this voice shortcuts. The voice shortcuts is where you can bind a specific, when I say this, and you can say whatever you want, go do this. And they have a GUI here, which honestly, I really didn't like. So you can use this GUI. Um, there were some things we really didn't care for about it, and we decided to make our own. So you can add to it, uh, and we'll go ahead and um, show you how to do that in our tool. You, you can figure out if you want to use our tool. That's fine. But our tool um, is an auto-hockey script, and it's, it is, by the way, compiled. So Because we spent, boy, Irfan spent, I don't know, four or five days easily, like almost all day working on it. That's a lot of time, right? And I'm paying for him full time. So that's why it's a compiled script that we sell you a license to. You can install it on three computers. But um, just FYI, and I think it's like five ninety nine or something. It's not expensive, but it's just I'm trying to you know recoup at least my expenses out of it, not to necessarily make money off it. Let's say I want to add something new, so I'm going to say add. Well, what do I want to do? I can create a group. If there's no groups here, I can create a group. This is a combo box, by the way, if you're not familiar with that on hockey. So it'll choose what's there, or I could say, hey, let's create an HK group. And when I say, now I want to use this kind of like I do with a, an Alexa Echo, is have a keyword or a Google Home, right? I'm going I'm to say computer, as you can see on my screen to the left here. I, I was starting with computer. Computer, that way it's just to avoid false flags, right? So it's not a, you don't have to do this. I just think it's a smart thing to do. So computer, um, let's say run S drive. So that's going to be my command. That's what I say. Now here you have choices. When I... I can choose to click text with the mouse. So that, and we're gonna show you that. It's, it's at first we were gonna skip past it, not included, but we decided to go ahead and include it. Um, we can trigger a hotkey, so you could have a script running, and our experience so far is when you trigger a hotkey, the auto hotkey will see that hotkey, and so you could bind that to an action, or you can have it run a program script folder file. This is what I didn't really care for in their tool also, because they broke them up into separate things, did it kind of weird. And we're gonna say next. Now, I'm going to say run a folder. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to be able to select a folder, but um, let's say, and I can hit select here, and I'm just going to say the S drive, not ZZ top. S drive. Hopefully that'll work. Save. There we go. Now, also, I don't know if you noticed this, but this thing restarted the voice access because we can't, we were trying like crazy to find a way to detect how it's doing what it's doing, but we couldn't figure it out, so we just re-triggered a restart of it um, to get it back into mode. And here also, by the way, in the preferences, if we come down here, find the icon. Uh, it's not that one, let me get rid of that. Um, get rid of that. We just, here we go. So voice access, preferences. I'm gonna enable voice access after update and then I'm gonna trigger command mode. This command mode, uh, I'll explain here in a second, but I'm gonna turn this on. It's going to only watch for commands instead of trying to transcribe everything you say, which is really, really annoying. So I'm gonna enable those two things. Now you're gonna laugh when you understand how we implemented those. But here I'm gonna hit, I could say voice access wake up, voice access wake up, and now it's listening to me, and now it would be it would be sending, if I put my, here, it's going to send that text, like, everywhere, and it's ridiculous. But what I want it to do is to say, command mode. So see how it dumped all that text? And it keeps sending it. So I have to stop, 
command mode. Now I put it in command mode. As I talk, it still listens. However, unless it matches one of those commands, it doesn't just send the text. So unfortunately, we have yet to find a way to trigger this programmatically. Uh, we do have a way, if you relaunch our tool in um, an elevated, like if there's an admin, we can programmatically click this button, but we still can't trigger command mode programmatically. So I'll show you um, how we end up doing it. Let me, let me clear this out of here. And now I can say um, this one. So let's see if this works. Computer, run S drive. And there, it just launched my S drive, right? So you can see how cool it is to bind that and it's fairly reliable, very consistent, you know, at working and triggering. Otherwise we wouldn't have spent the time on this. And I'm sure with AI, it's just gonna get better and better. Now we're still in, hopefully in command mode, right? Otherwise it would be sending that darn text everywhere. Let's, let's go ahead and add something else. And this time you'll see how when we add a new one, so let's say add, actually let's, let's go ahead and edit. Let's make this edit. And I'm gonna edit that and we'll make it S colon slash and we'll just give it a subfolder, whatever that is. Notice um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit update. Voice access wake up. Command mode. So I, don't, I hope you guys could hear that. What we ended up doing was we used the sappy voice triggers for the computer to say those things instead of us saying them because that would be really annoying. So even though I don't like having to have it do a voice because it's not gonna be as accurate, nor do I like hearing it. At the same time, it's really cool because um, I don't have to remember to go do it myself or click a button. Because like I said, we can. if I was running this as admin, it would have clicked that button and then said command mode, but it um, we negated all that by having the sappy say it. And so that's what those preferences were. Uh, now let's, let's rerun this one and see if it runs that ACC viewer folder instead of the S drive. Computer, run S drive. Well, there we go. So you can see that that's pretty cool, I think. Um, let me demonstrate like this Firefox run, computer run Firefox. Oh, don't, don't say, let me go edit it. And we're gonna click text with mouse. What's really, really cool, and we've built this into it, right? Is, hey, you could go look for the text and say, hey, that says Firefox, maybe that's what it says. But I'm gonna use this drag and let's say we're gonna go launch Edge, right? So now it says, and notice that says Microsoft Edge, not Edge, right? So this this pick label, it uses UIA, but it'll be a pretty good guess at what that is. And it's gonna double click um, versus triple. You can single or double click a left click, but a right click, it doesn't allow you. It just allows you a single click. So we'll go back to left. And that's not our tool. I mean, that is our tool, but that's what their tool allows. And so we program into here in that way. Now let me, um, I don't want to, let me go back and say, you know, run edge. And let's, so I, it didn't remember that because we were working with it and let's drop that on edge. There we go. Update. Now it should turn this on when I hit this. Voice access, wake up. Command mode. There we go. Now I can, I can, I need to wait for a pause, then I'm going to say it. Computer, run edge. So it just clicked that. Now, if it found more than one edge, it would have presented numbers. And then you would have said the number you want to click. So it's, it's, I don't love that. I wish I could say, you know, I, and I could, of course, just give it the path to this. Right, I just wanted to do this as a demonstration of how that works because it's pretty cool. Because you could even say click translate. Like so, let's let's try that. Let's go back into our tool. And this also, and by the way, if you use their tool, you'd have to come up here, click here, click view all commands, click here, then come in, and then you could find it and click it and edit it. Right? It's just just ridiculous. Um, so our tool. Where is our tool? Here we go. And we have a hotkey, by the way, which you can choose. Uh, but I'm gonna say, let's let's actually delete that one. Wow, that was interesting. Um, uh oh, seems we got we got a little bit of a bug there. Uh, anyway, let me go ahead and run add um, computer. Click. Translate. 
Now, of course, you can say whatever you want. Um, it doesn't have to be that. And I'm going to go next. And I'm going to left. Single click. Now, let's go ahead and use, let's bring back up the page. Move this guy out of the way temporarily. And let's see if it'll get that. Ah, well, because it's on a web page, it's probably having a little bit of a hard time. That's interesting. All right, well, let's just put translate. That should work. So let me hit save. Now it's going to save it, reload, be back into the mode. Voice access, wake up. Command mode. And of course, I was kind of talking to that first one. Command mode. Command mode. Okay, now what I said, we'll bring this back over. And, and we need to have it visible. I don't know if it has to be active. I think it might have to be active, but let's try it. Computer, click translate. It says it actually did it. Let's, let's change this. Let's make this active. Computer, click translate. Computer, click translate. There you go. So I think that that's pretty awesome. And this is why, granted, it's still early, but I do think, oh, there, look, there's my, oh, we had an are you sure button. So we're going to have to work on that a little bit. But uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Let me go ahead and delete that. Somehow that got put behind it, and then it just wasn't noticeable. So we got to make sure it stays on top. Um, you can see here, I'm not in Zoom, but I could say either computer share Zoom or computer share screen. And um, both of those send the control one, which is my hotkey for Zoom, to share the screen. So this is these are really cool things we're going to be able to do. Uh, let's go ahead and add one more. Um, trigger hotkey. What's a good, um, hot, we'll say F1, I guess. Help. Trigger hotkey. And actually what's interesting is we're gonna say F1. Should work, yeah. Now what's interesting is most programs, of course, accept F1 for Voice help. Voice access, wake up. Command mode. Okay, so um, most programs use computer um sorry f1 to get help so when i do that in a given program it should trigger the help so let me see computer give me help i just have to remember that computer give me help ah, it sent it but the the program didn't detect it let's see if we go to like so when mm -hmm. i hit f1 in notepad that's what it's bringing up which is weird to me but okay Computer, give me help. Computer, give me help. So for whatever reason, it's not um, detecting the F1, which for some reason it's not triggering it. Maybe it needs to be wrapped um, in, in curly braces in order to send it. Let's go in, so let's test this real quick here. And cuts. Now notice all the ones we have are show up in here too. Computer, give me help. Press keyboard hotkeys F1. Ah, there we go. Notice how that has curly braces around it. And, and I think Irvin said it was a little tricky, so we'll have to update that. But now that I've updated it and closed this, are we still in command mode? Command mode. Computer, give me help. There we go. So see, that triggered it. So we'll make sure we get that updated. So it's sending the hotkey. Uh, maybe it's different with F function keys, and that's where he's saying, like, it's, it's a bit complicated. But, um, yeah, I think it's very cool. Lots of 
possible uses here that are just going to be really, really cool. So uh, I'll put the URL up here. You can get it. Like I said, it's a paid for tool. Uh, we've put a lot of time into it and we're going to continue. We're really trying to figure out how to not have to restart this, how to automatically get it into command mode, because I have no interest in having it always listen to what I'm saying and type it, try to send that text. That's ridiculous. Um, so why do I have to, every time this starts, why do I have to tell it to go into command mode? Why can't I programmatically do that? I tried passing command line parameters. I tried a lot of stuff. We couldn't figure it out yet, but um, I know at some point we will. And, and it's also going to be updated, I'm sure, in the coming future. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like the video if you learned something here. Uh, I think this is a really cool function. And I know there's a lot of other voice control tools out there, but this is built into Windows 11 and it's free. So that's what got me really excited about it. And this is the future of being able to talk to AI as well and have it do stuff for you on your computer. I think this is a great first start. Have a good day. Cheers.